In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at two new cameras from Runcam. Now, we have the Runcam Racer 3, and we also do have the Runcam Eagle 3. And what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at their accessories and also their latency testing here. Now, if we first start off with the Runcam Racer, as the name implies, it's meant to be used for racers. And the reason they would put such a name is to have low latency. So hopefully we do actually get to see low latency in the results here. And they both take 5 to 36 volts as input. And the Runcam Racer 3 is NTSC and PAL, which you could switch between. However, the Runcam Eagle 3 is NTSC. SC only well at least the one that I have here and again everything is linked down below so let's go ahead and take a look at these together so first of all let's go ahead and start off with the run cam 3 as you can tell we have connectors for quite a lot because there's a lot going on in the back here one we have a 5 to 36 volt input I think it says yep 36 ground and our video after that we have VBAT plus now the VBAT plus right here can be used to detect your uh, battery's voltage and the way you would do that is you would run a wire straight from your positive leads where your ESE might be or where your battery is connected to and you would be able to output that voltage for you. Now GTX and RX this is kind of a UART connection type for the camera so you can actually switch the settings of the camera through your on screen display if you wanted that which is a really nice feature here. Now if we open the packaging, it's just a typical old packaging here. So first of all, we do get some extra screws, which is really nice, and we only get one connector. So however, this time is slightly different with the connector because we don't have the extra wire for the vSense or the VBAT right there. They have it completely removed here. So yeah, you're going to have to probably provide your own there or probably uh, repurpose one of these other wires from this connector. Now this is for the OSD slash UART connection to control this if you wanted to. And you can cut those off or keep them as you please. And as you can tell, it gives us a female type connector in the backside right here. Usually most pilots are going to end up cutting this off and just soldering it directly to their flight controller. So that's really about it for accessories. So they also do provide the adapter right here. And what this little adapter will do is change the size from a mini to a full-fledged HS 1177 type camera, which is the normal size big cameras that we rarely ever see these days. So it's really nice they've also included the adapter itself here. Now for the latency results of the Racer 3 here, it's actually quite incredible. We have two milliseconds of latency with the LED turning on. And the worst case latency that I've gotten, usually when you turn off, you know, the LED or the, the light goes away, the latency does increase. But here in this case, it's actually quite insane because it only increased by one millisecond. So your maximum theoretical latency is three milliseconds and fastest is two. And it's very consistent and very static. So they've done a really great job with the run cam ratio three. Now in terms of quality, I don't know. And um, all I can give you today is just the latency testing. So now let's go ahead and jump to the next camera. So now we have the Runcam Eagle 3. And this is a mini sized camera here. I really like the form factor. It's very much uh, tucked in very well. And um, yeah, that's something really nice. Usually lately, most cameras are kind of portraying quite a lot. So this is a really nice thing to see here. Now, as far as I know, the Runcam Eagle is supposed to signify the best of quality for Runcam here. And I don't expect pretty good latency. So we're going to check that out also. So if we look at the back here, what we do have is we have 5 to 36 volts input with the ground video, ground in menu. So it just takes uh, a basic type of, uh, what is it called, OSD remote to change the settings on this thing. Now for accessories, they also do provide you with just about the same thing they provided along with the Runcam Racer 3 here, which is the connector, also a female type connector right here if you're going to use that. And again, most people will end up just cutting this off. And this is for the on-screen display here. You just plug that in, you're good to go. There's no other extra features. It does have an on-screen display on board for all of these. And um, yeah, that's about it. And they also do provide us with the adapter to go ahead and switch this from a mini to a full-fledged sized camera here. So if you if you wanted that, that's really nice that they've provided that for you right here. Not a lot of, they don't do this most of the time. Not a lot of companies actually uh, provide you with the adapter needed. Now let's discuss latency here. So the latency with the LED turning on, so basically it's in a black box and the LED went on, is roughly 20 milliseconds to 32 milliseconds. So it does fluctuate within that range, but it's holding very consistently most of the time around 23 milliseconds uh, for the LED turning on. So for the LED turning off here, what we have is we have roughly 
So with the LED turning off, it's also pretty consistent between the 20 to 30 millisecond range, which is also really good. Usually they some cameras double when the LED turns off, but in this case, it's actually doing very well at keeping that latency pretty consistent. There is a 10 millisecond difference there. It's basically kind of like flying a DJI setup. So, I mean, but you know, analog basically. And well, guys, that's really it. Everything is linked down below. If you could check those out, those do greatly support the channel. And also come join my Patreon where I do a ton of giveaways a month and you get access to a lot of exclusive stuff, such as the open hardware flight controller and some other crazy things as well. Check out the Patreon down below. See if you like it. If you like it, come join. If you don't, then just don't. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.